All right, what's up, guys? Praise the Lord. It's the hot man and mechanic. Um, me and Lisa are gearing up to get on the road to Vegas within a few days. Here, I have put months of effort into restoring this piece of garbage van to running condition. I mean, it smokes a little bit, but so far, so good. We're getting good use. The 2001 we picked up for nothing, but today's video is how to make your vehicle. Totally self solar sustaining with very little to minimal purchase at all. So we had one of these old, it's all wrinkled up, but we had one of these on our old truck. It's a flex solar panel. Now, these are good and bad. As far as solar panels go, they're not as good as the glass ones, like right there. But these ones, see how they don't stay all the way? I put alien tape underneath. I'll have to tape it again. These ones are more concealable. You know what I mean? Like people don't know that you got a panel on your roof with these ones. That's the good, that's the benefit of these. So we have one of these, it's 21 watts. I ran a wire. I've got an adapter on here too, a Y adapter, because we have another panel on a cargo carrier we're gonna mount on the roof. So I left, left a plug for that. We run the wires right here in the back window, which brings us to our today's video. Here's our solar wires. Here is a lithium battery. Brother Craig gave us a couple of years, like a year or so ago. Still good. Old inverter I bought for Sister Lisa's project. We didn't end up using, so I'm using it on this one. It's a thousand watt inverter. And we got an old charge controller, which we are now gonna install. So I wired the inverter to the battery and strapped it down with this belt. I put tape over my terminals because if any metal touches that'll spark so I'm gonna cover that better but for now that's just the cover I put on there so now we have this battery look Let's see if I can get it on <laughs> boom all right so this is working sort of 13.2 volts okay so all we got to do now so because any power I pull out of this the battery's just gonna drain out so we got to basically plug our solar panel into this battery to feed power into it. I'll show you how to do that, okay? So first step, we need to get eyelets on a piece of wire to connect to this battery. So let's do that now. All right. We're going to put eyelets on this wire here to run to our battery. All right. Let's get the focus. There we go. Now we got our battery wire. I put caps on there just for safety purposes so we don't short nothing out until I get it hooked into the charge controller. Let's hook it up. We got that wire on the battery terminals. Now we're gonna, see this is why I put the caps on there. This is now hot. Now we're gonna wire into our charge controller. Look at, that's this one. Cool. One. Two if I make good one, you know? Yeah. There we go. Let there be light. Pow. All right, we got it worked out. Now the problem in my case was the way my solar wires were because of the connectors. The red is actually negative and the black is positive. I know it's crazy and I don't ever suggest doing that. It's just the way it worked out because I don't feel like cutting another pair of wires. I already had a pre-cut pair of wires, so I'm just gonna use it like that. But I know, you know what I mean? So anyways, um, so here we go, we're pulling in, let's see. So from the top of this van, let's see. Uh, here we go, PV. 2.3 amps coming in, four kilowatts. Battery's at 13.5 volts. Um, we had one of these on our first road trip. These things are incredible, they're called Alpicool. Uncle Arnie turned us onto these. Incredibly low watt. Pull. So we're gonna turn our all right right now. We're pulling solar. We're at 13.2 volts. Let's plug in the Alpi cool set at 55 degrees Boom there it goes Let's Turn it on we're at 64. Let's drop it get this thing cold There we go Negative four holy macaroni No, I don't want it to We're gonna set it To 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Boom, there it is. All right, 
We got that locked in. We are now solar charging the Alpi Cool. We can put our coffee creamer, um, splint drips, or water bottles for the homeless in here to keep cold. And we are now hooked up solar power uh, in the minivan. Again, we got the flex panel. I gotta seal this thing down better. That's the problem with these stupid panels. It's all right though, we'll figure it out. All right, thanks guys, bye.